Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here. If you're a regular viewer of our weekly new product videos, then right about now you're probably thinking we really screwed up the banner across the bottom of the screen. But you would be wrong. We didn't screw it up. We're merely demonstrating what it would look like were we to encrypt the data and not give you, or any malicious third parties in their duels, the decryption key. However, with the correct cryptographic coprocessor, voila! With data breaches and ransomware attacks on the increase, we wanted to be able to help you learn the fundamentals of cryptographic authentication. And we did that by offering this, the new SparkFun Cryptographic Development Kit. Included in this kit is everything you'll need to get up and running. You'll get a pair of the SparkFun ATEC 508A cryptographic coprocessor breakouts. These boards will allow you to add strong authentication security to your IoT node, edge device, or embedded system. They each have two quick ports for plug-and-play functionality, meaning no soldering is required to connect them to the rest of your system. However, we've still broken out the 0.1-inch spaced pins in case you prefer to use a breadboard. The ATEC 508A chip is capable of many cryptographic processes, including, but not limited to, creating and securely storing unique asymmetric key pairs based on elliptic curve cryptography, creating and verifying 64-byte digital signatures and 32-byte of message data, creating a shared key on a public channel via elliptic curve defi hellman algorithm, a standard hash-based challenge response protocol using SHA-256 algorithm, and internal high-quality FIPS random number generator. Since you need more than just the breakout boards to do anything, this kit also includes a pair of SparkFun Redboard Artemis boards. Basically, these are souped-up Arduinos. The Redboard Artemis takes the incredibly powerful Artemis module from SparkFun and wraps it up in an easy-to-use and familiar Uno footprint. Along with the Artemis boards, you'll receive two reversible USB-A to C cables, two 50mm flexible quick cables, and a pack of 10 male-to-male -male jumper wires. It's important to note that this breakout uses the 508 chip, which, unlike the 608, does not require the end user to sign an NDA. And that simply means that you have immediate access to its data sheet, and we're able to create a hookup guide and some examples. Now, if you think that makes this board any less capable, well, think again. In fact, take a look at what Pete Lewis was able to do with it. We actually put together a full-fledged tutorial on how all this works. So if you're interested to try to upgrade your security on your garage, or actually any kind of project that uses button control or wireless control, it's a great starting place for that too. I do want to point out, in fact stress, that you'll want to read through the entire hookup guide before you start working with this kit, as these chips have to be configured before they get permanently locked. But other than that, this is everything you'll need to get going. So if you're looking to get started with cryptographic security, look no further than the new SparkFun Cryptographic Development Kit. Pick up yours over at sparkfun.com, and as always, stay safe, be kind, and happy hacking. However, with the correct coprocessor, ah, oh, so close. That was really good. With the correct cryptographic coprocessor, do we have, did, wait, he did video, right? Like, he did. okay. Hi there, Spark fans. Rob, see, the first one usually goes really well for 92%, and then I screw it up, and then the next eight, if he just did a blog post, and I'm like, yeah. BAM! <laughs> Dude, <what>? Whoa! <laughs>